Lorraine in the Rain, with special guest appearance by the AMX 50B. Live Oaks, shots and pokes. Gonna make those shots count. Gotta poke wisely. So, this replay will feature a lot of uh, good shots and pokes. Poking out to take shots. I'm going over to this tree, I like to knock it down for camel, and you gotta knock it down precisely, so that it falls in the right direction. It fell in such a way that I have gun depression when I'm there. My opinions on the Lorraine 40 ton, uh, definitely not the best tier 9 medium. I like that it's fast, and it has pretty good firepower, but its armor is absolute shit. And especially like, you know, you compare it to a T-54, which is like the king of tier 9 medium, and its turret is really, really rock solid compared to this one. So you could go hold down with it, but not with this. This one here you could really utilize speed with the Lorraine 40 ton, and, um, and of course the alpha damage when you get those nice shots. But it's only the 5100 gun, so 100mm. Waiting, waiting, waiting for enemies to show up, and finally, one does show up. Reloading. And I actually checked my zoom, preset it, so that it's not totally zoomed in when I appear. You could see how that went in the tide. Going all the way around now, while reloading, and there is a Yag Tiger. And I actually tracked myself because because I uh, bumped into it. I still have a few shots left. Blind shot on the Artie coming up. Blind shot. Blind shot. Fantastic. Already went dark, but I still uh, predicted uh, where it's going to be and took the shot. The only thing remaining on the enemy team now is the Fosh 155, and uh, it's not going to be too hard for us to take him out. I mean, it is 14 to 1. GG. On the map Serene Coast, 43% um, chance to win. They got pretty damn good stats guys. We have kind of good stats guys, but not as good. So we're going to try to play the role of the reserved sniper. Very composed, very reserved, very careful sniping. Uh, just poking in and out. And um, then at the end, when it's time to clean up, that's when I'll rush in. So I'm going to do it in 4x speed because is going to be literally playing this position for the majority of this battle. And you know, when I fired that shot, of course it's a TD with good view range, so I got lit, fall back immediately. Let the light bulb kick in later, you know. 
as an indicator. Alright, this is the point where I charge in, and this is where it gets pretty exciting, so you definitely wanna keep your eye out for this. Still reloading right now. About three quarters into the reload by now. They have two Object 704s left, and what else? T29. And I'm reloaded, locked and loaded. We know generally where they are. So you know me, I'm an aggressive type of player, and finally I get to uh, have some fun and be aggressive as I like. I'm gonna land on this guy's head. And then transition right into firing at that guy. In platoon with my friend, X Sin Razor, playing his Leopard PTA, this is gonna be a rare opportunity to see Ellipsis tuning and uh, how we're gonna work in the platoon. We happen to be playing same class vehicles, tier 9 medium, although they are not identical, you know, Lorraine 40 ton and Leopard PTA prototype. Um, what can be said is that they're equally fragile and about as fast and good view range for both of them. Similar playstyle, therefore, nearly identical at some point. So I knocked this tree down, and we're gonna we're gonna do the snipey thing, where mediums like to snipe on this map. I even go as far as the bridge. And uh, it's not a bad idea because um, you're still protected lower hull by the uh, revelations of the bridge. I'm finally lit at this point, and it's because of the IS-6 actually, he got so close. And uh, that was my ammo and I'm retreating. My partner knows this, so he's giving me the space to retreat if I need to. But I stay right here, still kind of protected by the crenellations of this uh, ancient bridge. Reloading now, while I'm reloading, since I'm so close, and I consider so close, two-thirds, uh, three-quarters into the reload, which is what I consider close to being fully reloaded because you're going to be moving and then take into account binding the enemy, take into account stopping, take into account how long it takes to actually aim that's when it should be, you know, ready to fire you don't necessarily need to wait until you're lo fully loaded uh, to, to go and engage the enemy if you can predict properly if you miscalculate and you show up in their face with like, I don't know, five seconds to go before you're fully reloaded in an autoloader or any tank for that matter, like um, long reload like an E100 reload you up here and here I am, ready to fire? No, not really so they're gonna get some free shots on you if you if you make that mistake and notice Notice where my platoon mate is on the map. He is right next to me, right over here. He is following with me. You know, we're working together as one unit. And, um, which isn't to say that, you know, some pincer maneuver uh, isn't a good idea. In some cases it is, but right now we can totally focus stuff down because it's, you know, double the power coming from the same direction. Eventually we could. And I think we will uh, split up for some special tactics.
and I can't get gun depression so I back up. Usually um, when you're on like a slope you want to back up to uh, fix your gun depression. Oh he just crashed. <laughs> Cause like if you're facing down, it's only gonna get more round, right? Unless you get all the way to the bottom, and then if you're at the bottom, then you can no longer see the enemy, right? So usually when you back up, you fix your elevation problems. Uh, vice versa with depression problems, right? Down depression. So just climbing this thing now, gonna go in X2 speed to hasten it all until the enemy is engaged. And going back to one. That hit him in the back of the turret. Ooh, some phenomenal side shots on these objects. Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. So they're so tied up with the former engagements. And unfortunately, my last shot got eaten by the track. I mean. You can't tell me that wasn't a good aimed shot. It, it, it was, and of course there's RNG involved, and oh, it got eaten by the track. You know, had I got a different roll, maybe it would have, uh, you know, went a little bit off to the side and actually killed. Him. Now I'm lit, and uh, those objects hits really hard, so I kind of, sort of, maybe don't want to hope yet. Now if you'll notice, here's where we split apart. X sin is uh, at the bottom still here at K6. He's holding down the fort there, possibly aiming at the Tiger King and Jackson. I went ahead and uh, went up here to G G4, G5. Tracking shot on E75. Unfortunately, another tracking shot. I mean, you saw I was aiming for the engine, but whatever. It went off to the left and got eaten by the track. Um, and and he's not mistaken for staying down there because it is certainly another angle in case they try to go around. You know, there's plenty of them that could, and I'm just doing some work here. But now he's moving in. As you can see on the map, he is moving in, and he finds some targets. So now we have uh, crossfire, pretty much. Two different angles of fire we can get on them. And I find that the ISU is a bigger threat, so I abandon the shots I had before and go for this guy. Because he hits like a truck, and the other ones don't. And he was a one-shot, so very dangerous to let him stay alive. Alright, and this is cleanup time. Uh, x Sin is gonna go around that side. I'm gonna charge also at the AT-8 and something funny is gonna happen I'm gonna get shot in the back by an ally so I killed the AT-8 with a ram but got shot in the back by an ally <laughs> and finally the special guest appearance by the AMX 50B now why the 50B uh, at the end of this video because I want to emphasize and prove the point that these tier 10 heavy autoloaders do not really play like a traditional heavy. Far from it. The closest thing they play like is a medium tank actually. A flanker. And although they could do some things that the heavies do, they do weigh that much first of all. Heavy. Um, you will see right here that I'm going to do the same thing as I would do in my 1390, in my T-71, in my Batch Hat, in my Lorraine 40 ton, in my T-54, in my Leopard PTA, you name it. Like a medium tank. I'm going to take the position and play the medium tank role.
And so the last enemy is over there, and I safely go down the hill, because I know how to get down from here, and go to him. Of course, they kill him before I can get to him, which is fine. 3163 damage, that's a pretty good game. Thanks for watching.